Hi guys, this is Vetri. In this video, we're going to see about topological sort. So, topological sort, which is nothing but it's a process of ordering in ordering an element in sequential or linear manner. Okay. So, we are going to order uh, elements or action or process in sequence manner. Okay. So, from the graph, we are going to find out what are the sequences are available. Okay. So, we are having some constraints also before going to start the process. Okay. The main constraint is. A graph should should be uh, a directed acyclic graph, right? It has to be directed graph as well as acyclic graph. So we, uh, what is acyclic and uh, cyclic graph? So cyclic means see here, here in this example you can take C uh, uh, the direction A to B and then B to C and C to A. See if I want to remove uh, any process or any element from this graph, it will it can be cannot right because it having it is forming the cycle then whole process will be damaged so if i want to complete uh, process b means i need a for, uh, for 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 completing process c means i need b for completing process a means i need c so i cannot disconnect right so when it comes to here c for completing process b i need a and c for completing process a i need only c and for completing process C, I don't have any constraints, right? So here, I don't have any constraint. So there is uh, nothing, it's available, right? So this is how, uh, this is what I said. Uh, it has to be a directed acyclic graph, right? Topological sort has to be done only if the graph satisfying directed acyclic graph. Okay, DAG. Now, and then, so what it states that actually topological sort uh, here we can take the these two vertices okay so just consider uh, u is the process u is one process and v is another process okay so the condition is u has to be done before v okay so after completing u only i can go to process v so that is the order sequential order okay now so let me explain with an example so here i have the graph we can erase all those. Okay. See here I have the graph. So what is the first step to start the topological sort process is so you have to find out in degree of all the vertices available in the graph. So what is in degree? So number of incoming direction, incoming uh, edges for the particular vertex. Okay. So find out incoming degree of incoming degree of A is see how many incoming edges only one. In degree is one. For B, 0 and for D, 1, 2 and for C, 2 and for E, 2. So which one is less? So definitely you have to start from which node, which vertex having in degree as 0. Okay. So which one is having in degree as 0? B. So, you have to remove that vertex from the graph and then keep it in the output. Okay, sorry. It's going to be B. Okay. So, after removing B, so what you have to do is, so you have to remove the corresponding edges to other vertices. Okay. See, what are the corresponding vertices of B? 1 and 2. So, you have to remove these two also. After removing the vertex, you have to remove these two vertices also. Right now, find out the in degree of rest of the vertices. So now find out in degree of A is zero. So you can keep the previous one. That's not an issue. And then in degree of C is it remains same. In degree of D is now it become one. Okay. And then in degree of E is it remains same. Now find out which one is having in degree as zero. See in degree of zero here. We are having A. Okay. So we can remove A and print it into output. So along with A vertices, you have to remove these two corresponding vertices also. Sorry, edges also. Okay. Now again find out that in degree of rest of the vertices. So in degree of D is 0 now 
and integrate of c is 1 and integrate of e is remains same now so which one is having the integral 0 d so keep d here in output and remove the vertices along with the edges okay now c find out the integral of these two vertices c integral of c is 0 and integral of e is 1 so now remove the vertices which is having integral of 0 so c is having integral of 0 after that delete the edge also and finally we are having only one edge one vertices uh, without having any edge okay so it's an hydro isolated one we can keep directly into our output okay so that's it so that's the whole topological sort process okay now we have got the order so the order is going to be b a d c and e right so the concept is very simple so the step is you have to first you have to check whether the given graph is directed exactly graph or not so after verifying that you have to find out the in degree of all the vertices available in the graph and then you have to start deleting it and then you can find out the topological sorted element at finally okay so that's it i hope you understood the logics very well and let me explain with an one more interesting example that means a real time example where we are going to apply this kind of uh, strategies in real life okay so here i have one interesting example okay so the process of making coffee right so just consider all these as vertices and i have given the aroma which one is completed first you're going to get completed first and all okay so see here milk water and vessel coffee powder and then sugar and finally drink so this is the process we know that okay so now apply the topological sort how it will be okay so first which one is going to be so which one is having zero degree what are the things okay you can keep you so milk is having zero degree and sugar is having zero degree and coffee powder is having zero degree so we can take all those three okay so first i'm going to take i'll write it here okay first i'm going to take milk and after that after removing milk so water also having zero degree so first write up the all those things okay water and which one is having zero degree sugar also sugar and then coffee powder and then I will write it here okay so after removing coffee powder so we have to keep it in vessel okay and finally it becomes coffee and later we can go for drink okay so this is how we are going to apply topological sort in real life, real life for process okay so it will be applicable for both uh, normal selecting the operations from the operating system okay they will be having many uh, applications in the process okay so it, it's going to be a sorting okay so it will choose which one is having uh, less priority like that so that's it i hope you understood the logics very well and uh, if you have any doubts you can comment in comment section and thanks for watching keep so